Hey y'all, Jedi Fuka here. Right now we got Grave of Rot Run. So we've got Thea here using her healing prohibition. She also has this debuff immunity she drops. I have her timed with the uh, 32 skill haste where she drops it. Perfect timing, which I'll show you. Gardas giving us this increased resistance, which you really need. You gotta pump everyone's resistance up a lot. It's a rough dungeon. I got Furbeth here. He's going to run forward and do the uh, tanking and getting eaten for us. Hexandra getting all our heals going. And Voresh giving us our uh, attack slash little utility heal. Let's see how it goes. So you'll see with Thea here, she times out to where she usually does her special right before the end. Which usually makes it to where whenever he does his first attack, we still have the uh, debuff immunity up. Which saves us from some of those heal reductions. Um, we still need high resistance though to keep off the heal reductions when that doesn't work out that way. And to keep the poisons off. I did move my team around to set them up like this so people will stay alive a little better. Um, Gardas is super squishy, he is squishy, so I got them in the back and they get the extra heals from Zane to help them stay alive. And then these three in the front for the most part are more self-sufficient, self-sustaining so they can stay alive throughout the fight. I don't have a lot of DPS going on with this team. Um, he's Voresh is my current like uh, main DPS for this team, which isn't good. Cause he's not a big DPS person, but without him, I don't get enough heals to stay alive. So this is what I'm using right now. This is a really rough dungeon. It's a big jump from six to seven. I can dominate in six, have a hard time here in seven. But at least it's a team that gets it going, so you can see what you do need to get through it. Mostly you want that healing prohibition to drop up before he starts chewing. And then after that we need resistance to just stay alive and keep chucking along. Um, the main reason for the resistance is right there. If you get hit with that tiny percent chance for the heal reduction you die pretty easy. If only one person gets it, Hixandra can take it off of them. But if multiple people get it, she doesn't do a cleanse. Um, there's a rare healer that cleanses one Debo from all champs. The problem is you still need resistance because if they start getting poisons, she might cleanse the poison and not the heal reduction, and then you start dying. And then you also get this hand once around. Um, it's good to use when you start getting in a bind, just to save you from that low percentage loss if you have this team. Um, this team usually wins about 95% of the time. Every now and then I start catching debuffs that I shouldn't be catching. And it falls apart, but for the most part, it works. So it's at least a setup an idea of what you need to get going. The way I like to use the hand is uh, Thea back here. She's only she's not booked. She only has a 75% chance to land the heal reduction. If she doesn't land it, that's when I'll use the hand to give us that opportunity to not let him heal up too much because he'll be eating the shield at first instead of the health. So as y'all see, that was the run. It's pretty rough. It's hard to get through this stage. If you're trying to build a free-to-play team, you're going to have a hard time with it. Um, I recommend, if you have these champions, this lineup is working on stage 7. Just great. 
Uh, going past stage seven is going to be hard because the DPS just isn't there. I just need better gear. Um, mostly need the gear from farming this stage to use in this stage. But we'll get there. Um, so, like I said, we'll go look at the characters so you guys can take a look at them. And that way, if you're building your teams, you have an idea of what to look for. I think kind of the main people in this team will be uh, using Furbath as the tank there. Um, let's see, right here, he does have a Dispel 1 debuff when he does his heal. That helps out. It's not amazing, but it does help out every now and then. Hexandra is a healer. She's super good. And then she can also dispel one debuff. So if your resistance isn't working out, that helps out with uh, catching up to it. Now we do have 134 resistance on uh, Hexandra, 176 on Furbath. For some reason, he seems to take more debuffs than others, even when I have his uh, resistance up. I don't know why that is, but it's working out with the high uh, resistance. Now we got Gardas here. His resistance is at 144. Um, all I really care about for him is getting that resistance aura. If he dies during the run, it's not too big of a deal. I used to have him in the front, and he would die at the front, but I would still win the run. So his only role is doing that increase. If you have really good resistance gear, you can drop him and then get another DPS in there, which would be a necessity getting into the higher stages. Thea here. Um, her biggest thing is you got to have both accuracy and resistance. And even harder for her is the uh, extra that you get from your, you know, extra bonuses. I'll show you here in a minute. I don't have any for the necrotic classes put in. I've only invested in fire radiant and ice poison. So she's not getting those extra resistance accuracy. So I really had to pump her up. But she's a healing prohibition. And then she also has a debuff immunity. If you get about that 32 skill haste she will land this right before the last move preventing the heal and then also giving you debuff immunity for the first move so that's a major help so she's pretty essential in the team and then Voresh over here he's my lower resistance one at 127 um, basically I just pushed his only one doing damage and he's also not scrolled out um, actually for this scrolled out and that's what makes it even harder for Beth doesn't have um, correction Hexandra is the only one scrolled out no scrolls on Gardas give us Nara and no scrolls on Thea which is an issue for this uh, healing prohibition now the reason why she has such a high accuracy is I here to pump up her accuracy the crown of the unclean which also helps with our uh, damage dealer dropping that defense so Anyway, guys, that's a run. It's a really like rough draft for a team, but I hope it helps out so you at least have an idea of what you need to build when you're running this dungeon. Y'all have a good day.